Uh, we were talking about vaccines. Anybody vaccinated in here? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. We just got tense in here. <laughs> I did too. I, had, I got Pfizer. What did you guys get? Pfizer. Pfizer. Oh, yeah. We can spit each other's mouths. That's perfect. <laughs> Legally, we're obligated to. Uh, I didn't have any side effects when I had the, the vaccine. Not any physical ones, anyway. What did happen is I was talking to a friend, and my friend told me they got Moderna, and I just went, ugh! And I feel like that was Pfizer. I don't think that was me. Because <laughs> I don't care what vaccine you get. Just as long as it's not Johnson & Johnson. Get that boost bubble shit away from me. <laughs> C-minus ass shit. I don't know why I'm coming out so hot. I'm sorry, guys. I think it's probably because I fired my therapist recently. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I don't want to give you the wrong idea. I think therapy is very important. I learned a lot in therapy. Like I learned, I don't like when people are mean to me. The only problem was, it was my therapist who was mean to me. It was very complicated. No, it's okay. She was probably right. <laughs> I'll give you an example. The last time I was in her office, I was telling her something important, and after I was done, she rolled her eyes. She muttered, Jesus Christ. And I said, I think you need more toxic masculinity. I, I, I know what my problems actually are. I grew up Mormon. Any Mormons in here? Yes. It's Sunday. What are you doing? <laughs> It's insane. It is the most bizarre religion in the world to me. Uh, like, a lot of their stuff is just like, you know, have a firm foundation in faith. Faith is the cornerstone of our religion. It's a lot of architecture type stuff. It kind of makes you think, was, was being a religion your fallback plan and you wanted to be an architect? It's so bizarre. And it's super weird because they baptize children at eight. Yes. Which is, yeah, right? It's a super weird thing to do. And they even say, we do that because we want you to live a little before you're forgiven of your sins. Right. At eight years old. <laughs> I didn't even start doing cocaine till 21. <laughs> Offer me that shit at 28, then we'll talk. Yeah, then we can forgive some sins. There are some sins to forgive. And then when you get baptized, you have to do an interview with the leader of the church. His name is the bishop. When I was in the room, he asked me, in order to get baptized, you have to read all of your scriptures. Have you read all of your scriptures? No. But then I started thinking. I'm like, ooh, I can just tell him what I have because all of my sins are about to be forgiven. And to me, that's the fundamental difference of the Mormon religion. Because when you have the leader of the church and an eight-year-old boy in a private meeting, it's not usually the eight-year-old boy getting away with something. Stop. That's the line. This is me. Crossing the line. And this all culminated to when I finally left the church. I was talking to this same bishop years later, right before I went to college. And as I was talking to him, he goes, what are you studying in college? And I was just being an asshole. This wasn't true. I just said, I'm going to study religions. No, it wasn't. And he goes, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think you should do that. I don't think you should study religions. And I was like, why? He goes, because if you study other religions, you're going to start having questions about other faiths, and you're going to start eroding your belief in the church. That's all it takes? You, you just have to ask a question? No wonder you fucking failed architecture. You fucking Plan B church, get out of here. Thank you, thank you. I will leave you on this note tonight here. Um, as I was about to leave for the show, I did just find out that my rent is increasing by $200. Oh. Yeah, and I'm not even mad about the price, I'm mad about the reason. Because when I asked my landlord why they were increasing the price, he told me that they had someone come check the building and they found out in the event of an earthquake, our building would probably remain standing. <laughs> Listen, I drove five and a half hours to do this show for free. I get, I don't understand money. <laughs> but doesn't $200 seem a little steep for probably? that I told you if you paid an extra $200 to come to the show tonight, you would see the best stand-up comedy you'll probably ever see. <laughs> How fuck 
fucking mad would you be right now? I paid for some of you in your piss. I can tell. I can see you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Patrick Lopez. You've been an absolute... <laughs>